Hal here with more Space Engineers, and as you can see, we brought the beast of a miner over. Oh, that's loud. Ah, uh, so we actually had to, ended up having to make some changes to the ship. So we'll talk about those in a minute. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so this uh, my, this uranium deposit turned out to be a little bit bigger than I thought. Where, where are we at for resources here? So we're about a hundred k uranium. Oh, uh, what is that? hundred and twenty ish k. Hundred and yeah, about hundred and twenty k stone. Not too bad. So I do think I need to redevelop this uh, mining rig or build something a little bit better. Uh, the design works really well for like the interior space, but the drills. I do think I need to uh, extend the drills out uh, so that they're all at the same plane. Because with the way that it is, it's kind of hard to drill because uh, the ones that are leading basically are getting so far in that by the time the rest of them catch up, they're, they've run out of stuff to mine and it's just kind of sitting there burning energy. So. Um, but we've got some dead spaces in here that we that were noticed before, and yeah, just you know, we'll have to consider rebuilding this thing at some point. So for now, though, we are gathering a ridiculous amount of materials, and I am not going to complain about that. So I want to get, I think I want to get like about a hundred and twenty-ish or so K of uh, uranium in the in the ship and then what we'll do is we'll park this thing and I'll ch and then we'll talk about what changes we've made and uh, we'll take it from there right, so let's get a little bit more let's go ahead and back ourselves up here a bit okay um Go ahead and tunnel some of this out here a little bit. But yeah, I was not expecting as much uranium in this deposit as I'm seeing. I mean, this is actually a rather impressive amount of uranium in here. All right. So I had to turn on the uh, the actual reactors. <laughs> Because when I use the main thrusters for lift, we go over 100% <laughs> for just a for just a second. So how are we looking for uranium now? Uh, 120 ish, almost 130. That should be good. Gets us started. All right. Which means if we rebuild this thing, make it bigger, faster, stronger. Um, there we go. Well, we should be able to, you know, it'd be kind of nice to be able to drill the entire thing out. And I think that's what we're maybe doing. I may end up just building a, uh, an actual mining rig. Cause like I said, I wasn't expecting it to be that much uranium in this deposit. And so I was like, oh, you know, I'll just bring the big drill over. Yeah, no. There's enough here to actually warrant building a uh, a drilling rig. Right. I mean, we could probably build a large reactor on this base, and we wouldn't go through that uranium fast enough for it to to matter. All right. So what we're gonna do is let's get this thing docked up. Yeah, let's see if that's that's actually about where it needs to be. Uh, yeah, looks like that should be good. Uh, we're probably gonna need to bring ourselves down a little bit here, so we don't risk burning off the solar panels over there. That would be really, really bad. Well, I mean, we've got an assembler over here, but I would have to 
do something well I guess we've got batteries on on station so that wouldn't be too bad actually All right, so a little bit further and uh, now you just come over this way a little bit let's level us off you're the left connector we can go ahead and turn most of this off ah okay actually 12% usage and we've got reactors on board which are probably going to steal the uranium but that's okay so internally ship nothing's changed <laughs> oh this little ship is actually really fun um it's rather whoa, hello it's rather comfortable to uh fly around in the one thing that i don't have on board is a gravity generator and now that we've put the jump drive in, I don't think we're actually going to have room to put something like a gravity generator in. I mean, I guess I could. Hmm. If I was to put one in, where would I put it? I mean, realistically, that would be the most likely candidate. But I'm thinking maybe take that block out there, put it in there. That could be That could be something that works for us. All right, so biggest changes. First off, I took out the landing gear, obviously. Uh, needed the room because it just wasn't enough room here. So we've replaced it with one of the new mag plates. So we had we now have that as our landing gear. Uh, the jump drive obviously has been dropped in. And then for the two build and repair systems, we flipped those uh, so that they're now vertical and we're using the connectors on those to pass through up into the conveyor network for the two drills that had been recessed before and now they are actually moved forward one block and tied into the rest of the network both through the bob as well as the rest of the drills so it, it's working out pretty nicely but like i said um the drill layout is leaving a little bit of something to be desired and so what i'm thinking i may do is uh do i have yeah okay so i'm not going to be able to place stuff on either of those so what i will probably have to do then is flip these two uh windows put a conveyor block in. actually if i flip, if i put a conveyor block in i don't even have to worry about the windows there but that's going to cut seriously cut down on my uh my view so i'm thinking maybe we'll just go ahead and pipe it over so we'll put a pipe in uh put a, a corner pipe in here flip the window and then side mount a drill here and do the same on this side so you wind up with a drill sitting here a drill sitting on the top of that one and we'll have the two pipes here when those windows will flip i think that'll be a good plan uh, and I may end up doing that here because we have a full refinery and a full assembler so I mean it would make sense I think I have a full assembler on this thing Do I have a full assembler over here that's real assembler nope no assembler on board okay so then yeah since we have a full assembler over here what I may do is go ahead and queue those up because our refinery, let's see how you're doing here. Bro. Hmm. How are you doing ah, for everything? Uh, let's come over to inventory. You are processing all sorts of stuff. cargo we'll just we're gonna throw all of this stuff over there iron cobalt nickel I think that's everything we need yeah that should be everything that we need for the two drills actually I'll go in here production let's go a large block so we want Two drills, 
And we want a couple of the corner pipes. Right. And so now that should be welding or er, be building everything for us. I'm gonna go ahead and start mixing down some of this stuff. Alright, so we need 14k iron, which we obviously don't have, I don't think. 2k iron. So yeah, we need a lot of a lot of stone, which is okay because we have our giant drill over here. We can just excavate a couple hundred thousand stone pretty easily. And uh, I wanted to do a little terraforming over here anyway. So I'm kind of curious as to what that is. I mean, it's just kind of been teasing me. I'm not really sure what happened here. Um, it's kind of like the elephant foot of stone here. I'm not, there doesn't seem to be anything in it. So I'm thinking we'll maybe uh, trim that growth off. <laughs> Give us a little bit of stone, right? Oh, okay, so do we want to just go ahead and start making these changes? I think so. All right, so we're going to go, we're going to add two of you to the build planner. And I don't think it has what we need in the, in the grid yet. But we can check. Oh, okay. And I took the other ship back to base. Which, finding this place, I forgot to set a waypoint for it. <laughs> so I almost ran out of power, and now I remembered I had reactors on board. Oh, so yeah, it was entertaining. Um, I've got a, an asteroid somewhere around here. Uh, there it is. Yeah, I have an asteroid marker over there for the cobalt. And uh, I got over there and I was like, oh crap, I don't remember where it was. And I started looking around. I was like, okay, that, that asteroid looks really, really funky. Let's go that way. And uh, yeah, thankfully it was the, the right place. And then it was only funnier because I, I was maybe three kilometers out and I was going, don't I have reactors on this? <laughs> oh... Anyway, okay, so do you have anything over here that I can use? No, okay. All right, so let's do this stuff first, shall we? Oh, I don't want to turn those spotlights off. You guys, thank you. The sun's burning the, you know, what, a kilowatt? I think. So if we take you out, which is fine, uh, we want. No, I want the one by one flat, and I want that to be inverted. Bring you back one. We're doing this one at a time so we don't risk having, you know, the uh, third panel falling out and then I have to grind it down and put it back in. And, all right, so let me check, make sure everything's good. Yes, airtight again. That's good. All right, so. Gonna go, yeah. Okay. Let's add this. And so, what we're talking about here is we have you and you. And like I said, it is gonna cut down on our visibility a little bit, but it won't be quite as bad as everything else. And I'm almost tempted 
and what would be awesome is if I could uh, make those smokestacks so we could put the exhaust pipes in and have these pump out the uh, the smoke off to the side that way when you fire this thing up you know we'd have like I don't know like six of them three on each side back here you just turn everything on and it's just billowing clouds of smoke <laughs> Oh, all right, so we got that, we got that. We'll need two drills, but we need a lot of stone. And at some point, we will put a gravity uh, generator on this thing. Huh. Do I not have you triggered? For... That is interesting. You are offset door. We're going to call you head bay door and you we're going to remove that uh, do I not have that door on that might be why. Um, yeah, that's why. Okay, I'm gonna just show up in the toolbar config. And med bay door. You will close if there's a leak. Now we wanna check this really quick. Yay, okay, all the, do all the doors are working again. That's good. All right. So let's go ahead. Let's go turn that on. Turn. Set those to normal operation everything looks like it should be good all right and we're gonna go grab some stone all right so yeah I'm liking this I'm liking this little uh, this base it's nice and it is actually really effective It's everything that we need done. All right. And now to get us a little bit of stone, to get us some iron. I, I probably would do better serve to find an iron node. And I, cause I know there's one out here. I just don't, I don't think I marked it. Um, but I found a bunch of stuff while I was out here and out and about, so. All right, so the reason I need to put that other drill in, and you can kind of see it here, is you see how we're getting a little bit of extra pinch in here? And uh, if we were squared up, you'd see it on the other side. So the, the, the idea is that we'll put the drill in and that'll help clear that out a little bit better, as well as clearing out the little bits that show up over here. Um, Hopefully it will help clean up the drill profile a little bit, but we won't know until it actually until we actually get it in there. Best the best thing would be to just move all of the drills forward so they're all at the same plane. Um, but it is what it is, so we'll make we'll make do with what we got. All right, so let's grab a wee bit of this. Now what we're going to do is slowly make our way around. Until we uh, get the drills clear. And you can see how we've got a little bit of, you know, a little bit of Klingon action right there. It's just kind of hanging out. 
and having basically having that drool on either side of the windows there will help alleviate that in, uh, on future build outs so all right how much stone does that give us hey look at that we have a whole lot of stone okay that's actually that is one of the nice things about having so many drills on board is that you make wick work of any resource gathering you need to do Okay, so I think what we're going to do is at this point, we're really just going to be doing a lot of mining. Uh, so I think we're going to go ahead and call this one here. Yeah, it's been a shorter than usual episode, but I don't want to drag this out more so than absolutely necessary. <laughs> Not that I've been dragging this episode out. Oh, but uh yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and thank you all for stopping in. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you uh, put those likes down there. Hit the subscribe. You know the spiel. Sheesh. I know. I said I wasn't going to say it anymore. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to get out of here. I hope you all have a fantastic day. Thank you again for stopping in and hanging out with us. I had a lot of fun, and uh, we'll be mining for hours on end at this point. And we're going to spare you that, so enjoy the, uh, the rest of the day, enjoy your week, and we will see you back here next time for more Space Engineers. As always, folks, take care and be safe out there, everybody. Uh, so we've got the jump drive up. We just need to get this stuff over. And you are... There we go. Ah, just a little bit more to do. <laughs>